in this IIT Foundation Maths, this video will I'll explain you absolute value of an integer or modulus. Absolute value. So we'll see this what is absolute value or the modulus. So you can see this problems like this. For example, minus three. If you keep the mod symbol, so this is a modulus symbol. If we keep modulus of minus three, this value is plus three only. If the modulus of plus three also will be again plus three. So we can say absolute value is is an integer is its numerical value irrespective of its sign. So we will not consider its sign in the result. So whatever sign it is, we will take it as a positive. So absolute value of integer x is written as mod x. X I can write absolute value is modulus x, modulus or mod. When you are reading, you can read that as a mod. So mod seven minus seven is plus seven, or modulus minus one is equals to plus one. Modulus plus seven is also same plus seven only. So always the result should be positive in the absolute values. So let me write definition for this. If x is an in in integer, x is an integer, then modulus of x is two ways. You can take plus x minus x. So result should be always positive. So if it is plus x means x is greater than or equal to zero. Minus x means x should be negative. So x is less than zero. Then you can treat as a minus. So in this example, I'll explain problems which are related to these examples. See for example, modulus of minus seven. Then minus seven is equals to minus of minus seven. Then you'll get only plus seven because x value is less than zero. So this rule I applied. If modulus of plus seven, then x is greater than or equal to zero. So it is seven itself. Now modulus of minus three. So x is less than zero. So we should take minus x. Minus of x is minus three. That is the plus three. Now this is a modulus concept. The result we can write in the positive way. So there are some properties. So I'll explain you approximately there are six properties which are used for this modulus or mod. So I'll write the properties here. Properties of a modulus or mod. So six properties are there. So in these properties, the six properties are very important. If you observe the positive of modulus a or negative of that modulus a, also result is positive. So the both are equal. So mod a is equals to mod minus a. And one more property, the modulus value we can split into two. If mod of a into b, I can write mod a into mod b. Okay, the value will not change. And this similarly uh, division, the modulus modulus of a by b is equals to modulus of a by and modulus of b. We can write this. So splitting also we can make that is, but when you take plus modulus of a plus b is always lesser than or equal to a modulus of a and modulus of b. So need not be always uh, is greater. So sometimes less also will get it. So for this example, example modulus of a plus b is less than or equal to modulus of a plus modulus of b. The sign of equality holds only when the sign of a and b are same. If a and b are both are same, then sign will be same. If modulus of a 
is less than or equal to some constant k then we can write like this minus k less than or equals to a and less than or equal to k so that value within this constant the negative and positive within that constant that value will be similarly the last property you can write if you take two values if mod of a minus b less than or equal to k then same like previous property minus k less than or equal to a minus b less than or equals to plus k so this only we can change and we can write b minus k because only a one in between b minus k because add b all together a less than or equal to b plus k if you add the b for three terms we'll get this okay these are the properties for this modulus rule okay one simple example i'll ask you a question the solution set of the equation x minus 2 mod x minus 2 is equal to 5 then x is equal to dash so we should take two values maybe it's positive or negative also that is x minus 2 is equal to 1 so take plus 5 if x minus 2 if it is minus also we we'll get the same plus 5 only two cases this and this so we have to find out the value of x in this case x is equal to 5 plus 2 x is equal to 7 this is minus x plus 2 is equal to 5 because I have multiplied with minus then minus x is equal to 5 minus 2 3 therefore x is equal to minus 3 x is minus 3 and x is equal to 7 so solution set is 7 comma minus 3 7 or comma minus 3 this is the solution set the important thing is if it is negative also we will take the plus 5 if it is positive also we will take the plus 5 so we need to solve in this way so there are some more problems which are uh, with the modulus concept in this website you can go through foundation for iit.com and you please subscribe this channel because this completely which are linked with education educational videos only we do upload and those are studying ICSC, CBSC, SS and Inter there are all the subjects all the material is completely free including previous model papers and previous examination papers and question bank as well as the test papers are also available so I hope you understood well and thank you for watching.